Hi there, my name is Elisa Rotramel and I'm a colorectal surgeon here at Legacy. Getting ready for surgery can be pretty overwhelming. We do our best to help you prepare and understand what to expect before, during, and after surgery. Before you go home, your team will review your plan of care including medications and instructions for when to call your provider. I will go over that specifically with you here today. When to contact your surgical providers for help and advice. Please note that if your surgeon has given you specific instructions, you should review and follow them. Also, if you experience severe symptoms, including worsening pain, chest pain, shortness of breath, you should contact your provider, and if you are not able to do so, dial 911 or visit your nearest emergency room. After your discharge from the hospital, you should watch for signs of infection, particularly by monitoring your incisions. Worrisome signs include increasing swelling, pain, redness, drainage or bleeding from your incision. Another sign of infection is a fever of over 101 degrees. Even if your incision looks perfect, these all can be concerning signs for a wound infection and should prompt a call to your provider. After bowel surgery, it takes some time for your appetite to return and your bowel habits may have changed. It's very important that you eat and drink enough to stay hydrated and to get the proper nutrition you need to recover after surgery. Remember, your doctor may have given you special instructions on a diet to keep after surgery. If that's the case, be sure to refer to his or her instructions. A common cause of nausea is strictly from the pain medicines you're taking after surgery. Opioid pain medicines commonly cause nausea and should not be taken on an empty stomach. Be sure to take even just a little bit of food before you take these medications, as this can help immensely. However, if you are experiencing worsening bloating, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, or having trouble with bowel movements or passing gas, please do call your doctor for instructions or visit your nearest emergency room for evaluation. As we discussed before, you most likely will see some changes in your bowel habits after surgery. Either going more frequently or changes in consistency, they may be much more loose. However, if your bowel movements consistently become more watery or you're having more diarrhea, this should prompt a call to your doctor. Ongoing frequent loose stools or watery diarrhea can sometimes be treated with medications, but other times they may be signs of a colon infection. If these symptoms worsen or don't continue to improve, please call your provider for further instructions. Some changes in your bowel habits are absolutely normal after surgery, and patients frequently will see a little bit of blood in their stools in the first few days after intestinal surgery. However, if you experience new or worsening bleeding, please call your provider for further advice. Most patients are able to take smaller and smaller doses of prescription pain medications and eventually are able to stop them over the first week or so. You may also take other pain medications such as ibuprofen or Tylenol, which are non-narcotic pain medications that can also be very effective. However, if your doctor has instructed you not to take ibuprofen or Tylenol for another reason, please do follow their instructions. If you're experiencing worsening pain or find yourself needing larger amounts of medications for pain control, please do call your provider to discuss further instructions. We wish you a healthy and speedy recovery. We do hope that this will be a good resource for you, but do not hesitate to call if you have any other questions or concerns. In addition, if you do have access to My Health, you can send us messages about non-urgent questions such as refill requests, etc., and those will be answered electronically. Thank you for listening, and please remember, before surgery, during surgery, and after surgery, we are here to help you.